What's going on? It's your guy Dean Money here from Juice Radio with the latest winners in our Fresh Coast Face Off that go by the name of New Era. The group composed of Five Flat, MC Turtle T, and Andrew Savoie just beat out the Tacoma group City Hall by the count of 55 to 8, their single, Brooks. And if you're unaware of a new era, don't feel alone because they are a new group of members that have just been shuffled from others that are quickly making a big name for themselves and starting a new era in their lives. So first off, how's everybody doing? Chilling. Yeah, Chilling good. Good, good. Thanks, Thanks for having us on, man. Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess everyone wants to know, you know, how New Era came about. I mean, um, Five, you did an EP with Brown last year. Ball Turtle and Ann, Andrew, you both came from Hush Puppies and Dino Jams. So how did you guys all decide that your previous groupings weren't right for you, and this one was? Well, um, it's not that our other groups weren't right. It, you know, we're still in our other groups. I mean, Hush Puppies just kind of, it kind of evolved from Hush Puppies just because me and Andy, you know, we've been doing music together and we continue to do music. Uh, I met Blaine when I was, uh, actually Andy met Blaine before I did, mm -hmm. just in some house party ciphers and whatnot. I met actually Blaine, uh, oh, our flat. After a, uh, after a, a Dino Jams concert, Dog Days, at uh, University of Washington, we opened for Blue Scholars and Common Market, and uh, he came through, you know, said I was up, you know, realized that he already knew him, and he said he was dope, so I was like, oh, if he said he's dope, then he's, he's dope, because this guy's super particular, but, <laughs> so we pretty much, you know, just how Hush Puppies form, it's just, you, you get together, and you kick it, and you start making songs, not with the intention of forming a group, but once you have three or four songs that you just just made, you know, not not consciously, you just did it because you do it. Uh, you're like, whoa, we got four songs here. Why don't we just do a project? You know what I mean? So that's just how it went down for us. You know, he's still, you know, he's still doing his stuff. I'm sure he'll have another five brown, um, you know, project. In the yeah, works. we're working on one right now. You know, we're all gonna be doing our own shit, you know, but we're all gonna be coming together and, you know, yeah. featuring on each other's tracks and keeping it moving, really. Yeah. Cool. So, like you guys said, you're all now one band known as New Era. Um, what do each of you bring individually as far as the group is concerned? Uh, what we bring individually? Uh, well, I produce everything, um, and we all three collectively pretty much just rap on, you know, I don't even usually do on those songs, they're mostly the, the top MCs, but I pretty much produce. Uh, you know, we're in school for audio production, me and Blaine, like, you know, we know how to mix, we know how to record, and that's a big thing that, you know, Blaine does, he's like, you know, it's like he's the engineer and the MC, and then two over here is just like the talent, just brings that crazy flow every time, you know, goofy crazy flow, and so yeah, we, you know, we, just, we all have kind of our own little, like, um, you know, a little niche in the group, you know. If it's being a producer and emceeing or like, you know, engineering most of it, because you do most of the mixing blind, so. Yeah. I'll do what I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, the album Sink or Swim is coming November 4th. What can we all expect from this record, both in content and sound? If, uh, if I could sum it up, I would say the fact with this album, Sink or Swim, we tried to on every song do something different so like if one song was a really aggressive kind of in your face like track then the next song we would do something that was more laid back and then another one we tried something that'd be like abstract with crazy different you know bass lines and to where it would almost like you couldn't put it into a category like you couldn't say like this is a, a gangster rap album or this is like a backpack rap album or this is a I sit and smoke weed and talk about joints all day album you know it, it's it's something different so as kind of in the sense of where the name New Era came from is we were trying to, like collectively we all had different styles that they would compare, you know, the Hush Puppies was compared to a lot of like early 90s East Coast rap and then the Dino Jams, you know, they said that it was more like jazz influenced De La Soul type stuff. So they were always like some kind of label that, you know, people try and put, put you in. So what we try to do is take something that was a little bit different on collectively to where you yeah. couldn't put it into each, one solid. Each track pretty much just having its own, you know, if it's like a feel good track or if it's a track of us being just, you know, completely switching up our characters and just putting on some weird role of something, you know, we have like a song called That Guy and it's kind of like, a, you know, that, you know, that guy at the party that, you know, just hitting on ladies, being a drunken mess. And it's just like a character replay, you know. We like we like doing that, you know, all the songs. And some are actually, you know, like our actual true selves, like coming out 
um, in our verses, and then some songs are just goofy, having fun, and some are just like in your face, you know. But we still have those feel good tracks, and also kind of like you know get hype tracks at the same time, you know. So just a well, much like a well rounded, you know. There's kind of like a song for everybody. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just gonna say, uh, just as an artist, I think we look for diversity. It's like a big thing for us. Versatility for me personally, and so the album really brings versatility. And each song is like an experience that we had, you know, it's, it's, it's all something that we used to be or, or are or just a, a personality trait that we have. So you can't put us in this kind of like box, like you said, especially Seattle, you know, kind of known for the, the conscious hip hop and what and whatnot. So, you know, we got we got some conscious, you know, some like deep, you know, deep thought music. We got some. I don't give a shit, party music, you know. I mean, we made a track just, just to make one, just to be like, yeah, this is this is way different, you know. Mm -hmm. Just in your face, just like talking shit, you know. It's, it's not us on the daily, but it's a part of us, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that's like conscious right there. Conscious is being true to yourself and, and all, your, all your personality traits. Mm -hmm. it's, I think it's easy for people to just be like, oh, he's a conscious rapper. Therefore, when I hear a song, I want to hear something you know, conscious every time I hear him rapping, but, you know, you were people too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot, a lot of, like, a lot of, a lot of uh, artists and MCs and whatnot have, uh, have like an image, you know, and it's like, they kind of like play that image in almost every song, and it's kind of like, yeah, that's one image of someone, you know, but like, people have so many different traits, and we, so we kind of just exploit that out of ourselves in every song. Yeah. All right. Um, what about features for you guys? Can you guys um, tell us what kind of features are you or like hiding it till the album comes out? Oh no, we, I'm glad to tell you. We have Kung Fu Grip on a song. Uh, we have um, uh, Ray Dalton on a track. Camilla on a track. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our buddy Chima Chiefs on a track. Um, theoretics. The theoretics. Um, yeah, you know, we just we kind of keep it basic and kind of just pick the people that we hang out with and. That we like play, you know, play music with. That we vibe with. Yeah. You know, like it's like we work with the people that that we came across through, you know, friends or shows or events or networking, and the people that we like really meshed with. Like we were like, man, we definitely got to work with you. You know, and it's just it's just kind of evolved from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's it's if you, if I can't kick it with someone, I can't really do music with them. Like I gotta like him as a person, mm -hmm. you know. I gotta be able to sit down, and vibe out with him, have a brew, or maybe not have a brew, but just chop it up, you know. Mm -hmm. You gotta have that chemistry, you know, to, to make a good track. Yeah, no. Um, what I'm seeing is, you know, I'm seeing this real explosion on the campus of UW recently. You guys, for instance, also Saul, yeah. Dice, Scribes, just to name a few. Um, what have you guys noticed about UW, especially lately? Is there like a real mu many community in the campus or something? Uh, yeah. I mean, UW is almost like, no pun intended, the hub for a lot of music because that's where most artists get the most exposure. You know, Dog Days for one. It's like you're getting all these these young kids from high school, from different parts of the country, from different countries, uh, coming in and being like, "Oh, I, I don't know who these are, but you know, here's a concert of local people, you know, and that that's embedded in their minds, you know. That's like my freshman year. Oh, I remember this group, you know. I've been listening to them since freshman year when I saw them at a show. Mm -hmm. So it's real. It's a real friendly environment." They have the Hip Hop Student Association, you know, they do b-boy jams, they do, you know, rap, uh, you know, rap, They're, they got some rap stuff in the works too, oh, yeah. and it's, it, it's a real, it's a real good environment to, to come up in, a lot of love, a lot of support, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure we wouldn't have half the fans we did if it wasn't for the college community. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a humongous market, humongous social market, and if, you know, you someone, a friend of yours is going to a show and you have nothing to do that night. Oh yeah, I don't know what these people are, but a lot of people are going. It's at a cool venue, you know, I might have heard a track or so, you know. But it's, it's really easy to like, you know, draw a, a, a social crowd like that. Nice. Um, what's next for, for you guys individually or as a group in the um, near future? Um, all, right now, like literally, we have all of us collectively have other side projects that we're all working on. Whether it's these guys have the new Dino Jams album that they're working on, I'm working on a solo project, and I'm also doing uh, another project with Brown, my uh, the guy that I did on the last project with. Um, so we're already like 
you know, where we're at right now, we're already like three steps ahead in the thought process. So mm -hmm. by the time this project's coming out, we're already halfway done with, you know, another one. So we're kind of just yeah. trying to keep it going. You know, he wants to do a solo. Yeah. I'll probably will put out some beat tapes here and there. Um, yeah, Dial Jams, him, his solo thing. You know, we've been, we've been you know, it's not, really, not really like, we're making an album of New Era, then it's like, we're not, we're just kind of taking our time with everything. Yeah. You know, like, and then we're probably going to have another one coming up soon with, with China, mm -hmm. Theoretics, um, which that's a way different, that just gets kind of weird and grimy, and that's a whole different side, you know? Um, yeah, it's just constantly just like hearing, like, you know, making music and, you know, be like, oh yeah, let's just record this, make a song of this, you know? And then see where that, where that takes us. I, I definitely see more albums coming out for, you know, for new era as a group. Yeah. 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 Nice. You guys all sound like a bunch of workaholics. Man, yeah, um, yeah. where on the web can people find out about all these projects and your own? Uh, Bandcamp. Yeah. One. You know, you can peep uh, New Era on Bandcamp.com. You can New Era Music. On yeah, music. New, era music. New, era music. new Era Music. We got Five and Brown on Bandcamp. We got uh, Hush Puppies on Bandcamp. We got yeah. Down Jams on Bandcamp. Pretty much Bandcamp. Um, also, you know, like, uh, people have MySpace, you know, New Year's on MySpace, and also you know, Facebook too, but mostly Bandcamp is where you can hear all the new stuff. Well, we're also in the process of working on a, 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 a website, website, a website with uh, our crew, Sleepless Collective. We're pretty much backed by this group called Sleepless Collective. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty much, you know, uh, I don't know if you heard of, uh, you know, Michael Wong, Mike Ski, but he was pretty much, he's pretty much starting it. We do B-Boy events. Um, he pretty much is like, you know, Man with, oh, man with a plan, and he's kind of he's managing us right now, and so, um, yeah. And uh, be on the lookout for release November fourth, Sink or Swim. Um, the uh, first show, the fourth, will be in Portland, Oregon, uh, Someday Lounge with T and E and Blue headlining. Uh, then for the fifth, we'll be up here in Seattle at the Crocodile with Kung Fu Grip and also Blue headlining. So uh, keep up, you know. Look out for that. Definitely, you gotta check it out. Uh, Blue, you know, he just recently dropped the, the New York album, which is, you know. Well, leaked it. Yeah, well, it's out there. Yeah. So, if you, if you guys aren't familiar with it, go check that shit out. And uh, definitely gotta come out for the shows. Especially, we're trying to bring it down in Seattle and in Portland. So, yeah. no, you know, November 4th and 5th, strap. Shit! All right, um, thank you guys for um, having me here to interview you guys, um, and um, best of luck to all three of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Oh. All right.